This recording will serve as an introduction to a new set of colors. It's actually the colors you have already, but you haven't used all of them. So we have here a circuit that you've probably seen a number of times by now. It's the three battery, four round light bulb in series circuit. So we know that there's only one pathway for the electrons to follow around the circuit. And you can see in my lower diagram of the actual picture, it's for them to go this way. And I haven't shown any of the deflections in this, um, in this video, but you can test them for yourself if you so choose. So we also know that then we're gonna have some charge flow rate and it's gonna be the same in every wire. So I've done arrow tails for you there. I've blacked out what happens when I actually connected the circuit there in this first image. The, uh, there's a disconnection here, so we should expect light, bulb, light bulbs to not be on. So go ahead and if you wanna make a prediction or you've been told to make a prediction, pause the video now and make a prediction for what you should see in these light bulbs. I'll be moving on in three, two, one. So as you've seen by now in class, probably a couple times, all the light bulbs light and all the light bulbs are equally bright. So let's put that on our diagram up top. And they're not particularly bright, so we're gonna choose to put just a couple of starbursts on them. So far, this has been review. Then we can do some starter color coding. So let's do the blue, because we know that the positive side of the, the positive terminal of the battery pack is where the electrons are under highest pressure. And the, excuse me, the negative side of the terminal is where they're under high, highest pressure, and the positive side there is where they're um, under lowest pressure. And then we can see that each of the light bulbs has the same one, the same charge flow rate. through the bulb, and two, the same brightness as each other. You might be thinking to yourself, well, I knew that, David. I'm not here to learn about these review things. It's good to remember them just in case. What this tells us is that because everything else is the same, the pressure drop across each of them also needs to be the same. So we need to have Whatever unit of pressure drop we have over one light bulb, we need to have over every single light bulb. So the easiest way to have four equal steps of light bulb brightness is to go from blue to green, from green to yellow, from yellow to orange, and orange to red. These are each one step on our scale. We go one step, one step, one step, one step. So they're the same pressure change across each light bulb, and they're the same brightness, and they have the same charge flow rate. So here we see our very first circuit with five different colors. Let's move on to another circuit. So I've drawn this circuit here, and if you want to take a moment to make a prediction or a color code, start color coding here, remember there's the positive terminal. I do that for my own um, memory of this. So we have a sort of a hybrid circuit. Then I made this with a number of wires and you can see the charge, oh, that black blends in more than I expected. Uh, the charge will flow down this wire to this triple junction, at which point it'll face a choice. It can go this way or this way. If it goes the lower route, it has to go this way and then this way to this triple junction. If it goes the upper route, it has to go here. And then in both cases, it has to come back up here. So we've also established that this at each of these triple junctions here we will have to have something happen to the charge flow rate we're not going to dive into that in this this video but we uh we will look at the brightness of light bulbs so go ahead and make a prediction right now and i'll move on uh from that in three two one anytime my computer's ready to move on and here we can see that that top light bulb is brighter than the bottom two light bulbs so that's something we should note, and we should go ahead and put that on our circuit diagram. Are those two light bulbs, are these two light bulbs as dim as the light bulbs up in circuit number one? I sort of don't think so, but let's double check. Go ahead and remember that. Very much not. They are very much brighter. So let's go ahead and put this 
like this. Okay, and let's start our color coding. We know that the negative terminal of the battery, the electrons are under high pressure. When that they get to that junction, we also know by our color coding rules that because wires have approximately zero resistance, for all intents and purposes, actually zero resistance, the pressure doesn't change whenever you're just in a wire. Let's do the red light bulb, the red side of the battery, which is to say the positive side of the battery. And again, it's the same in all of those wires because there's nothing intervening and it's very, it's extremely low resistance uh, along the way. So good, we're almost there. We just have this pesky one wire in the middle. Because these two light bulbs are equally bright, we know that it has to be the same pressure, and because they're the identical light bulbs, uh, it has to be the same pressure change across both of them. So we're gonna go from blue to yellow and yellow to red. So we know that this middle one needs to be colored in yellow. Okay, last circuit. This one's a fun one. So again, I'm gonna do my little help, my rem help me remember myself, remember what's happening here. And then this one we know is another series circuit and I'm just going to choose to do one arrow tail for simplicity because I don't want to mess this up too much. You can go ahead and make a prediction as to what we're going to see. We see this series circuit here. You can make a prediction, and I'll move on from, your, from that in three, two, one. And again, like you've seen repeatedly in lab, all three light bulbs are lit equally. Let's try to color code this circuit. We'll start with the red because it's what I picked first. That side. Oh, and these three light bulbs are all round. I don't know why I didn't put the R's in there. All that matters is that these are identical light bulbs. And then we have our blue. And now we have a problem. So I'm going to give you a slightly more in-depth color. Oops, that was unexpected. Color coding demo here. Because we have to take three equal steps through here. Whereas, so in question one, we took one equal step, a second equal step, a second equal step, then a second equal step. In question two, we took one equal step and a second equal step. But in this question, in this problem, we don't have a way to go neatly from one layer to the next in two steps like this, in three steps, excuse me, one, two, three steps. So we have to make up these things in the middle, which we're gonna call uh, dashed colors. And there are a few different ways to do this. So, and to be clear, these are not exactly precise. These are just um, approximations. So we still wanna have blue be our highest pressure. And in fact, none of the rest of them change their behavior. We just add some more granularity. So we're gonna do blue Reflect with green. And then we're going to do green. And then we're going to do green, flecked with yellow. And then we're going to do yellow. And then we're going to do yellow, flecked with orange. And then we're going to do orange. And then we're going to do orange, flecked with red. And then we have red. So now we have this. And of course, that is our lowest pressure. So now we have an ability to take th three equal steps. And go ahead and watch how long it takes your physics teacher to get these three equal steps. Here, we're gonna count these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, just eight. Right, and this is where our system continues to fail, but which is okay. Again, these are not exact numbers. We're just indicating approximate. So we want to get somewhere to green flecked with yellow to indicate, yeah, I know that's not exactly where I want to go, but I don't have a better option. And then this one could be orange flecked with yellow, which is the other way to draw this line. These two things mean the same thing. It's just which highlighter you have available to you. So similarly, this and this mean the same thing. So this is where our system sort of starts to fall apart. You won't see too many examples of this, but this is an, ex this is an example of equal steps. And you might even add in, you should add in your starbursts to indicate that I know these are all the same brightness, 
and that our system, our model, needs a little more revision than we have. And part of this is because it's hard to find so many highlighters. I know. If you have questions on this, please don't hesitate to email me or ask your physics teacher.